Well, hello, my beautiful YouTube family. I'm not too sure why I've never jumped on the IKEA hack train. I think it's because yeah, there's no reason. There's no reason. Anywho, today we're doing our first IKEA hack with IKEA lack shelving for neighbors of mine, Eric and Amber, who are some of my most favorite humans who are also getting married this weekend. So I'm helping them out with a couple of things over on their property. And the first one being a weekend refresh of a project that they've been thinking of for almost a year now. Eric and Amber have had everything on hand and they actually bought double the amount, triple the amount of shelving that you're going to be seeing in the episode for this build. They also bought some decor, new bedding, so everything you see me using is stuff that they have had on hand or purchased specifically for this project. After I saw Amber's In A Perfect World sketch, I started to see what I could do with the lac shelving before I cut into it and customized it. So I just placed different sizes where I thought they may lay and they kind of ended up working out perfectly. So the mid-size lac shelving, I stacked on that bookshelf to the left and that was able to kind of lift up above the window and I can DIY a shelf going across there. And then I just hung the longest size that Eric and Amber purchased on the right-hand side to be level with what I just hung on the left. An easy game changer is rehanging your drapes to be higher than the window. And in this case, I'm just rehanging it to be as high as I'm going to have the lac shelving being capped with the other like wall to wall shelf that will be DIYing a bit later. I am a huge fan and I always forget how much of a fan I am when it comes to making over for other people, specifically when they have already bought the decor. It's just kind of fun to see how their brain comes together in a project. I decided that instead of like double stacking books underneath this cabinet and that may look a little messy, I thought that maybe adding these smaller black shelving may add a design element and maybe just make it seem a little bit more thought of. Okay, you know I'm all about saving time where I can, but also being healthy and treating our bodies right. So that is why I'm excited to partner up with Daily Harvest because they have honestly been my go-to for my morning routine here in the desert with their smoothies and also to cap the day with a quick, healthy, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based meal with Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest makes it insanely easy to eat more fruits and veggies every single day. It's delivered directly to your doorstep and it is ready within minutes. So there's really not an excuse to not live a healthier lifestyle by implementing this into your routine. Even though I am new to Daily Harvest, I truly do love the fact that it is a smoothie in the morning, keeping it cool, and then it's nothing too heavy towards the end of the day, specifically because of this desert heat that's kicking up. I think just cooking a meal in general right now for me just isn't in the cards with the weather that we've had lately, but being able to have something healthy in the morning within minutes and again at night and not have to worry about like putting in more work at the end of a hot work day is right up my alley. It's good for you and the planet and it's flexible. You can get weekly or monthly deliveries of nine to 26 items, which you can customize by skipping weeks, adjusting the size of your box or even adding items. I mean, come on, saving time, fueling my body, all the while not compromising flavor, sign, me up. If you guys are interested in trying out Daily Harvest for yourself, you can actually use my code Rachel Metz by clicking the link in the description box and the pinned comment, and you can get up to $40 off your first order. Again, for my people in the back, if you are interested in trying Daily Harvest for yourself, please go ahead and click the link in my description box and pinned comment. You can use my code Rachel Metz to get up to $40 off your first box. Thank you so much, Daily Harvest, for keeping your girl sustained over here in the hot weather. Let's jump right back into this makeover. For the top shelf that I'm gonna DIY to add that wood grain that they have going through their house and a little bit more texture to this DIY is to cut down some one by 10 by eight foot long pine to fit in between each of these lac shelves and stain them. Something I got nervous about when cutting this Ikea shelving was how many people are gonna be like, well, what's the point of that just DIY shelving? And something that I wanna say to that is I think anybody that doesn't know how to build can go about these Ikea hacks or customizing something that's already pre-built to their heart's content because that is a great solution if you are not a builder. So right here you see me cutting the angle bracket with an angle grinder, but it's really not that intimidating, I promise you. Let me tell you, this lac shelving material, I 
Ikea is just cardboard, so it's really easy to rip through and make the size that you want. So we already installed the ones that we did not need to cut. Now I'm installing the ones that we just cut and customized for this bookshelf. I'm gonna be honest, I got really lucky with this Ikea hack. I don't even know how many studs this house has, but this house, I hit a stud every single time I put a screw into the wall, which was really fabulous and made my life a lot easier. But if you do not hit a stud, you do need to use drywall anchors and the appropriate weight-bearing drywall anchors for what you're intending to put on that shelf. Just a friendly reminder. I decided to color coordinate the books based off of purely the inspiration from Woodbrain's home, my best friend. I love every room she has. They're so beautifully color coordinated. So I did the best that I could. I never thought our house could look so cool. Really? I just hope you guys really like it. Don't lie if you don't. Oh my God, I'm not lying at all. I'm just obsessed with Don't lie to me. I did the black, white, and neutrals on the left, and then I put the pop of color in the middle of the room. So that way when we end up decorating their living room office area, we can kind of drag that color over to the right-hand side. Oh my God. What you think? It's fucking incredible. It's getting there. Are you serious? We're so close. Rachel, this is amazing. <laughs> After I styled for a bit, I went ahead and topped each of the lac shelving like columns essentially with that pine that we distressed and stained. And I just went and used my brad nailer and I have an 18 gauge cordless Milwaukee brad nailer. That's what you see me using. And then people are gonna freak out about what I'm about to do now, but I am adding a lip to it to make the piece look a little bit larger than what it is. Also, listen, we're working on a future episode while I'm talking to you, which I'm very excited about, but when it comes to me staining how I am right now, I do not ever recommend that. I don't even know what my wackadoodle having brain was doing right here, but stain it before you install it. Everything Eric and Amber already had on hand, I'm really just using what they have resourced for this makeover that they've been dreaming of for quite some time. So to be able to be that person to put it into reality and not like, overwhelm them with my design taste or be like, oh, let me just redo the entire thing. This is really all them. I'm just putting it into place and into play for them. If you are looking for the perfect easy room update or just making a bookshelf yourself to fit the measurements of your dreams. This honestly was one of the easiest DIYs I've ever done because everything's already cut for you. Even if you had to make a couple of custom cuts, the material isn't crazy to get through so anybody can do it. Once again, thank you Daily Harvest for sponsoring this video, but also thank you so much, Eric and Amber, for allowing us into your home and allowing me to just DIY a part of it to help you guys out before the wedding. I love you guys so much, and I love you guys so much here on my YouTube family. I'll see you soon for another DIY.